Lakovia, the longest village in Jamaica, laid out for more than five miles on either side of the South Coast Highway and the Black River. Throughout the 18th century, Black River and Lakovia alternated as the capital of the parish of St. Elizabeth. The name Lakovia seems to be derived from the Spanish name for mahogany, Lakoba, when the main industry was the logging of mahogany trees which were floated down the river to the wharf for export. Today, the cashew nut has replaced mahogany lumber as a prime export for the area. Lakovia was once the home of one of the largest Jewish communities in Jamaica, and the town is still of great importance to the existing Jamaican Jewish community today. Now here's where Lakovia gets interesting. Beside the Texaco gas station along the main highway, two gray concrete tombs lay rise about three feet above ground, almost in the middle of the road. One is unmarked, while the other one belongs to one Thomas Jordan Spencer, said to be an ancestor of Winston Churchill and Diana Spencer. Why these two men were buried here is a mystery, as are the circumstances surrounding their deaths. But ask anyone from the area and they are sure to give you an animated account of their personal version of the story. So I probably look for a tombstone. This is a tombstone? Huh? For who? <laughs> Let's find out for what tombstone this is. Okay. Alright. Here lies. Interred the body of Thomas. Let's take a picture. I'll go out there. I don't know who the hell that is, but ask somebody. Honestly, I can't see what. Yeah. Good question. Whose tombstone is that? Whose tombstone is that? Nobody knows. No one knows? You know, they come up with a lot of stories, but you know, we really need to so. According to them, it's a man who's lucky, but we can't Unless you dig it up. So no one knows no. whose tombstone it is. No. I named Donkey, right? According to them. According to Legend Singh. Legend Singh. Alright, this nice lady just gave me. Should I ask someone older? No. Same story? Same story. I just read that two weeks ago. I was trying to do something. Do you mind if I film you? Do you mind? What is it for? A vlog. About two months ago. Mm -hmm. And then I snow on them. Oh, are you covering? For what? For Lakovia as well. Yeah. And um, that TPD, because they're not sure as well. Based on their research, can yeah. be proven as to who exactly it is. It's Thomas That's something. That's what they said. And the next person, they're not sure if it's his donkey or. <laughs> Alright. Alright, thank you. <laughs> thank you. One thing that came up that was very interesting mm -hmm. is that there's a cemetery, a Jewish cemetery here in Lakovia. Yeah. I wanted to find out where it is so that I can go visit. Because TPD said that the article said that the owner of the land, if you ask him, he will show you. So I'm going to say like this. It's a Jewish cemetery. So here was once a Jewish community. Oh, okay. So the Jewish came and wait, was it the case that they? Yeah. So it was a case like they started repopulating with themselves. I, I would think so. But they, of course, that is why when they died, they realized there's not really anybody here to say they're from Jewish origin. So assuming that they never really come in. Okay. So they won't come here today. Hey, fun history fact. Thank you very much. All right, have a good day. All right, so apparently this whole town was a Jewish, Jewish town. They came here and they populated here, but they didn't commingle with black people, of course. And they died out, of course, eventually. And
and no one's here to tell their history. Apparently, those two tombstones are from, um, what you call it now, for uh, the man and his donkey. The man's name is Thomas Sum. So apparently, say hi, Bob. Hi. So apparently, two tombstones belong to a man and his donkey. That's the legend that they have it. No one knows for sure who's in the second tombstone or the grave, but they know for a fact say it's Thomas something. We couldn't read because we couldn't the pick it. No, uh, it name started with Thomas. 